from a list of items, I can choose any different item and the value to the right is going to be automatically updated based on the item that I selected. And if there is no information, instead of having an error in Excel, we have this custom message. This list of items that I have here in Excel is pulling the information from another tab, which is my inventory and where I have information such as the products and by the way the products are my list itself and then i have the column c and to the right the shelf and again to the right the expiration date so basically from this data set i can set my items list with many different items and from any option that i choose such as vitamin d the cell to the right automatically update of course you can use a different excel file with different tabs different data sets. The purpose of this video is to show how to do and that way you can apply those step by step into your situation. So let's get into it. Let's get started by setting up the list of items that we want to use, the data, the data validation. I can either select a, a specific cell where I want to use the list of items or I can select the entire range. That way, all those cells within this range are going to be with the data validation. Now I can go here at the top and click on data. And then all the way to the right, I can go on data validation. And instead of allow any value, I want to switch to allow a list. And my list within this formula bar here is going to be, let's say, A, comma, B, comma, item C and so forth. I'm going to hit enter or press OK and I'm done. So this is my list and it's working properly. However, there's other ways to create a list in Excel. So let's say let me select everything here again and I want to hit the delete button to get rid of everything and then again data. Now what I'm going to do is instead of manually input all the items of my list, I want to use the first step that I have, that is the inventory. And the way I want to use all those items that I already have into my list. So let me go back here to the second tab and then data, data validation again. However, instead of use these, those items here, I can select everything, delete, and then I can click on this up arrow. And then I can go to the first step click, hold and drag because that way I can select all the items that I already have in this data set. I can click again in the arrow and then OK. That's it. So now my list is working. However, instead of manually use and input the items that you need, now we have the items from the first tab. OK, so basically two different ways to create a data validation in Excel. So let's say I want to use here vitamin C. Okay, so from vitamin C, how can I retrieve the unit price? Now I can use a function, a lookup function to search, to look for the item in my inventory and retrieve any column such as unit price, shelf location, expiration date, and so on. Let me go back again to the second tab that I have. There is many different functions that can help me. I can use equal sign, index with match function. I can also use X lookup. I can use V lookup and so on. And because Excel has many different versions, I want to show a function, a formula that is going to work on all those versions. That is going to be the equal sign V lookup formula. Double click in this on this formula, one, two, to select. And then within the lookup function, we have some arguments. Lookup value, table array, column index number, and range lookup. In a practical way, step by step, we're going to see each one of those arguments. The first one, lookup value, is the thing that I want to use as my criterion that is going to be the item to the left. Simple as that. Comma. The table array now is going to be on the first tab, inventory, in my case. 
and I can either select the products, the range, and all the way to the right to select everything, or I prefer, okay, click on the letter B because this is where I have the products. So it's easier because that way I can select the whole column, the entire column, all the way down to the last row of Excel. But anyway, I'm going to click in the, on the column B and drag to the right, C, D, E, and so forth. Okay, now everything is selected, comma, now Excel is asking me about the column index number. And this is going to be the column that I want to retrieve, return as result. And as my first column that I selected is the product, the product is the column number one. The unit price sold is the second, the shelf, the third, the expiration date, the fourth. And I want to use the second column, the unit price to be my result. So whenever Excel find the product that I'm looking for, such as Omega-3, it's going to retrieve the second column, the correspondent column, okay? So let me put here the number two, trauma, and as the range lookup, I want to have a exact match, or in other words, I want to retrieve exactly what I'm looking for. Double click, one, two, enter, and we're done. So whenever now I change here the item, let's say zinc, the unit price is going to automatically update. And I can either use Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy and paste, or if you prefer, in the bottom right corner of the cell, you can click, hold, and drag down like this. Of course, Excel is going to retrieve a error if there is no value in the item. However, when you use here an item such as calcium, the value is going to be automatically updated. And if you want to get rid of the error, you can use a formula that is the if error. So let me go back here again to the first cell and I want to click in this cell, one, two, and immediately after the equals sign, I want to input if error, double click on this formula, one, two, okay. The formula is already activate and as we can see, I have a open parenthesis and everything in between this, this parenthesis after this parenthesis is going to be the VLOOKUP. So my VLOOKUP is going to be my value. And after the last parenthesis, I want to use comma again. And if the VLOOKUP has a error, I want to retrieve instead, open quotations, select the item, close quotations, close parenthesis, and then enter. Let me drag this formula down again, and we're done. Now, whenever we have a blank cell on the item, instead of have now a error in the unit price, we're going to have this custom message. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow.